yet to bring some of the other stuff in, but the idea is, okay, I have black clothes. I have a black wig. Holy cow, hello everybody. This is Glenda with Freelands and Friends Crafts Plus. And yes, I do look a little disheveled. I have been trying to get this mess cleaned off and I want to show you, just give you a hint of what I'm, this production we're going to be, I'm going to be putting on here. Okay, I showed you that sheet the other day and now I don't know where I put it. <laughs> Maybe my husband stole it back, I don't know. I'll find it. I plan, if it, it's pretty large, so I want to try and cover both this and this. If it won't, I'll use, you know, I'll use something else and cover you two sheets. But, ah, uh, breathe. I've been clearing stuff away. I just want to kind of show you a couple things. You know about our rat zombie ghost. <laughs> Okay, that story is yet to be told. We're going to have Gatsby Ghost. <laughs> and we'll put Batty in there somewhere. Yes, Batty, we will. Okay, I've yet to bring some of the other stuff in. But the idea is, okay, I have black clothes. I have a black wig. Can you about imagine me in that thing? And a wig cap. Joe picked me this stuff up. You know, well, I've had the black clothes, but the the wig cap and the wig. I just expected the wig, not the wig cap, which will help because, as you guys have probably figured out by now, my hair is just a little bit on the unruly side. It does kind of what it wants. I comb it. I do. I brush it and it goes right back. It goes right back where it wants to go. <laughs> That's why I keep it trimmed short, but we've had a recent outbreak of COVID here in Wymore, so I really, except for the nurse yesterday, and we were both masked up. And, you know, I do make sure people put masks on, but been kind of not worrying about the hair right now. So let's see if I can figure out how to put this thing on. Oh! To cover this silly old hair. Lots of tucking. I don't have my glasses on. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really need them unless I need to see something close up. But right now, with all this gray hair, it'd be nice to see a little more of what I'm doing in this small screen. You're getting the idea. And then we'll put the wig on. Okay. I don't want to give too much away, but you guys got to know already. And I'm going to make, I'm trying to make a pretty good production out of it. Mainly because we're not going to have trick-or-treaters this year because I've already put out the word that we're not going to, which we will be turning off our porch light. But I do want, you know, I did tell them I'm going to make a video, a Halloween video. And so we will be putting this up on Facebook for, oh, that comes out looking good, don't it? Okay. Now, have two of these... <laughs> Two of these jack-o'-lanterns, <laughs> and they do light up. I just have to have Joe find me a way to get them plugged into the closest outlet and still have them out here on the table. So I'll have those for some lighting. And of course I'll have my skeleton necklace. I'm going to, I still need to work on my script a little bit for the rat and all that 
But then there's going to be some added in video of dancing monsters and stuff. It's going to be fun as well as. But I do have the other camera set up. And I'm instead of fast motion, but I want to put a night mode. Because I'm not going to film everything in the dark. But I do want to start out with night mode. So that I just want to be kind of the ooh kind of thing. And then I will have, I'll have this somewhere over there. It's a production. <laughs> I'd kind of like to start filming tomorrow because there's always mistakes. So that's what my plan is to just get started on filming tomorrow. I've tried to clear as much off as I can. This, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm going to cover it. But you can see right now that you can't really see a whole lot of it. And I can angle cameras so they don't. I'm not going to blacken this wall. I can't blacken the wall, but I'm not going to darken the wall behind me with a sheet or anything. I'm just going to do the, you know, because the white will kind of help with the lighting effect and stuff. I don't want everything in here to be too dark because they need to see. They need to see me. And you guys need to see me too. I'm not putting the bugs in the spider webs until that day or until right before we're ready to film because I just don't want a bunch of broken bugs falling on the floor. Now the difference between these and the ones I made last year, I realized the ones I made last year, I used the, alert, the colored clay, the clay that came colored to make those. And these are just, these are the, this white clay that I used that I painted. And so these are a little more brittle. Of course, these aren't, haven't been glossed like the other ones so I'll probably use quite a few you know some of the other ones back here and these I'll put on the table uh, am I telling you too much I hope not I'm trying to kind of hoping to get some feedback from you about I'm a little befuddled right now because I've been well I've been cleaning things off and and getting things you know go grabbing the pumpkins and stuff from the out on the porch a little befuddled because you know my brain can only take so much <laughs> so if there's something that i've forgotten that you can think of or something you can think of that i may need to do more should i i mean the makeup how what kind of makeup should i do should i make my face whiter should i make should I put on as much mascara as I can if I can even find any, you know, eyeliner, that kind of stuff. I mean, do I need to do the whole Elvira type look? I mean, I'm not exactly that thin Elvira, but I do have the face paints. And, of course, I would put like, chaps, like chapstick or something on under it, but I thought I could make my lips really red. But what about the rest of this? <laughs> and should I just leave the glasses off? Because they might distract from the whole image that I'm trying to. So those are things that I'm kind of looking for from you. This is kind of going to be, this part isn't going to get a lot of ed editing because I'm just being flat out, you know, straight with you on this stuff. And, like I said, I want the best production I can put on for Halloween for the kids. Since we're not going to have them trick-or-treat. And my treat to the kids is going to be the video. And I don't know how many will watch, but I might, I want to start on it tomorrow. And then I might put up a little trailer on Thursday and Friday just to show a little bit. I don't want to give the whole picture, but if I get the production done, 
then I can take some, edit some little bits in to maybe a little one to two minute, if that, trailer. <laughs> I have not done anything this involved. I've done some involved stuff, but never anything this involved. I did some stage productions in high school, but the script was already written and we had a director. <laughs> so, thank you so much for sticking out with me yesterday and the day before. I, I knew it was a little bit dry. Ah, will I make a good vampire? We will not say I'm a... Well, I don't even have the teeth. I mean, I got teeth, but I don't have the teeth. And so I don't even know. Just, just, um, the witch of Halloween. I don't know. The good witch. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe because, you see, here, she's got black lips. So maybe I shouldn't do the red. Should I do red or should I do black? These are things that you guys can really help me with. Because like I said, the beginning of it, or at least a part of it, I want to do with the night vision. It's just going to be kind of like the beginning. Just the opening up. And then we'll have the lights on. And But I want to have the pumpkin lights on. I want to have this, this necklace on. But I can't have the lights off when I'm doing the little... Um, story with the rat zombie ghost. <laughs> Not a weird thing. Uh, but there is a story to go with it. So, that's it really for today. I am not, I'm disheveled. I haven't really put on, because I've been, this has been my thing today, is trying to get this worked on, and I'm going to work on that script to try to get it a little more a little more settled in my head and a little more diagrammed out or you know kind of outlined and stuff so I don't have anybody else in the script except these guys so I don't have to write for anybody but me I'll see you Friday oh that's right Friday I guess I might put up a little Saturday is Halloween right <laughs> I might put up a little trailer on Friday. <laughs> uh, that gives me a couple days to get this production put together, but I really need your feedback, especially on my costume and lighting. How light should I put? You know, when I do turn on the lights to do stuff, should it be like bright light? Or should it be, you know, still somewhat in shadow, but like... A spotlight on what I'm doing just that's where my brain is kind of going right now ba boom ba boom <laughs> I've been intent on getting stuff made and put together and scripted somewhat so please help I love you smile and wave at somebody today even if it's a screen <laughs> or a video I love you all. Good day. Have a great day. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. No, Friday, 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 Friday.